Hi guys, I'm Tom Court, and in this clip, I'm going to show you how to clean your Duotone click bar. Firstly, as a quick tip, after every session, you should rinse your bar with fresh water. There is a little access hatch at the base of both tips of the bar. And after you've come off the beach, you want to clean the sand and salt water out from your winding mechanism, just to make sure that your bar lasts for as long as possible. If you do have problems inside your bar, however, you'll need to take it apart and give it a thorough clean. We recommend doing this with a toothbrush and some toothpaste and a small bowl of water. The first steps for a full deep clean is to make sure your bar is fully depowered. Before you attempt to open the click bar, you want to make sure that the depower on the power display is on fully depowered. To test this, you put some pressure on the outside lines and press the button until it's fully out. Once you've done that, you then want to turn the winder 90 degrees. Hold it with two fingers and proceed to use your Allen key to undo the two screws underneath it. This will then allow you to pull the whole winding mechanism out from the end of the bar. Once you've taken out the full mechanism, you should be able to see any dirt that's inside the bar. However, just to be thorough, you want to then take your Allen key and undo your push button. Right, once you've taken it all apart, then you can see your split spool, your right cover, your winder, and your push button. It's time to give them a clean. We recommend you use some toothpaste and a toothbrush for best effect. Firstly, we'll start with the push button and spring. Give the part a thorough clean, and then fully rinse to make sure there is no toothpaste or anything left on the part. Once you've cleaned it, put it aside and let it dry. Next up, the right cover and winding mechanism. This is an important part because you need to make sure that everything is moving smoothly and there's no sand in the mechanism itself. So give it a proper clean inside the moving parts and make sure you rinse it thoroughly. Next, you've got the split spool. The split spool houses your two leader lines. And you need to check this to make sure there's no damage to the leader lines and that they are coming out of separate sides of the split spool and there is no dirt, sand, or anything obstructing. And next, you want to get right up inside the bar to clean the left stopper gear. Just give it a thorough scrub Make sure there's no sand or anything obstructing the internal tube that runs through the bar and also that there's no damage to any of the leader lines that go up inside the end of the bar. Once you're happy that all of the screw threads and all of the pathways are totally clear from obstruction, then you want to give the whole thing a thorough rinse. Once you've done that and you're completely satisfied, then you can start reassembling the bar. Firstly, the right cover slots back on to the split spool mechanism. Then you take the push button and spring and screw it into the central hole. Take your Allen key and ensure that it's done up nice and tight. And then when reinserting the right cover back into the end of the bar, you want to make sure that the small diagram is on the upward side. Put some pressure on the back leader lines to take up the tension on the lines inside the bar and pull the right cover back into place. Then turn the mechanism 90 degrees, check the screw holes are free from obstruction and reinsert the screws. It's always good to test the functionality to make sure nothing is snagged and everything is working smoothly. So you test the D power with the push button and the power with the winding post. If anything's not running smoothly, you know you need to go back and check again. You can see whether everything inside the bar is moving correctly on the bar display. 
as the red toggle moves up and down between the D-Power and the Power. So there you go, that is how you clean your Duotone click bar.